Uh, it's the game today. Um, you know, everyone's trying to play an um, up-tempo game. Everyone's trying to shoot a lot of threes. and So it's, it's just the way that the game is. So it's, you know, it's not purposely saying just do it on the Cavs and no one else. Um, but, uh, I mean, they definitely, you know, are trying to use their strengths. Um, a lot of teams that we're playing lately has been younger than us, and that's their strength to run up and down. And, the open gym kind of feel, you know, to the game. So uh, uh, they've been playing their game very well, better than we have. You think? I mean, there's been a lot of conversation about the defense. What do you think it's going to take to get this defense to a level where you guys are comfortable with it? Uh, defensively, um, it takes trust. It takes communication. Um, and it just takes a willingness to do it, you know. So we have to all get better at all those things. Um, and um, so the way we're going to win ball games if we get better at getting stops. Um, you know, right now, we're not scoring to a level um, of other teams, so we're not outscoring teams. So we have those stops to get wins. Maybe not quite like these last four games, but over the last couple of years, this team goes through stretches like this. Mm -hmm. um, now that you're going through it with these guys for the first time, are you surprised by what you've seen in these first two weeks? Me surprised? Mm -hmm. 15 years in the lead. Not at all. I went through some similar things in Miami, so been here before. Um, and as long as you play this game, you'll have you'll see everything, man. So um, the only thing we can do as a group, as a unit, you know, is take tomorrow off, enjoy ourselves, um, Halloween parties, and come in Tuesday and figure out you know ways to get better each day. Um, I mean, that's the only thing you're gonna do, and we got to get out of it together, you know. So. We have to continue to constantly communicate as teammates. We can't get quiet when things go the other way. We got to stay in it, stay together, because we don't even want to get ourselves out of it. And our coaching staff is just, you know, so we have to pull ourselves out of it and just got to do it together. So uh, we'd be fine from this standpoint, but it, we have to do it. Is not having trust something that is common when it comes to so many new guys getting together in this early in the season? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to bring in seven new guys, um, or whatever the case may be, and you have guys in and out of the lineup. and. Oh, whatever excuses you want to make. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you're trying to build some. You're trying to build something, and um, you're trying to build. Like I say, you're trying to build that trust, and it takes time. And but in the meantime, and while we're trying to find it, we got to find a way to win games. As simple as that. You know, we're not going to be our best right now, and you don't want to be your best right now. So you got to find ways to win games, especially at home. We lost two games at home that uh, we just shouldn't have lost. We got to find a way to win those. I'm not saying anything versus those teams. They playing very well. But at home, you got to take care of business. Um, and we haven't done it. Is the communication thing just because you guys don't know each other or people reluctant to speak up? Or? I don't have that answer. I wish I did. Mm -hmm. Then I'll fix it. I don't have it yet. But um, we'll figure it out. You know, we'll continue to talk to each other, to continue to get familiar with each other. Um, a lot of these guys have been in the finals. They were together for a long time. And then this year, there's been some different things happen. Um, so uh, it's a lot of new involved in this. Um, so with newness, it takes time.